Welcome back to Tashkid FX for another Gala Games Prize Prediction Update and in this video I'll be giving you the latest developments that have been happening here on the Gala Games chart which at the time of this recording is trading above the 20 day MA here on the 4 hour chart. We have also continued to obey the ADUTF structures and before I give you my next price targets to the upper side in the formation of this larger ADUTF count 3, first give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership and allow me to continue with the video here on the 4 hour chart where you can see that after making our lower low down there we started a very nice bounce to the upside obeying the ADOT structures where you can see that I have this ADOT structure in blue having the wave 5 making its peak at around the 0.05574 dollar mark and also completed an even larger ADOT count 1 to the upside of this ADOT structure right here in, in yellow and after seeing the formation of that first wave we started a corrective structure in the formation of that wave 2 which gave us a low at around the 0.05 Zero four. 062 dollar mark and after seeing the low for that second wave we started another bounce to the upside in what I'm terming as the formation of this larger ADO to have count 3 and sketching out a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of this larger ADO to have count 3 by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave that gives me a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of that wave 3 at the fib level 1.618 and that perfectly lies at around the 0.105 one nine dollar mark and that is the minimum that we can expect that larger ADO to have count 3 to the upside to do and in the formation of that wave 3 which is an impulsive wave we also expect to see a five wave structure in formation within the formation of that wave 3 where we expect the formation of that wave 5 to fully maximize the formation of that larger ADO to have count 3 and I believe we are seeing such a move right here on the charts where you can see that we have seen the peak for that first wave to the upside which is a fractal wave within the formation of that larger ADO to have count 3 we have also retested in the formation of that wave 2 and I'm expecting one more bounce to the upside in the formation of this wave 3 before we can retrace in the formation of that wave 4 and then continue pushing even higher in the formation of that wave 5 to fully maximize our target area to the upside in the formation of that wave 3 and by first showing you that the second wave right here has done the minimum that we expect a second wave to do by connecting the Fibonacci's from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 that gives me a minimum retracement area in the formation of that wave 2 between the FIB level 0 0.5 and the FIB level 0 0.618 and after seeing the low for that second wave whatever we expected next is a bounce to the upside in the formation of this wave 3 and for this wave 3 to continue playing out we need to continue holding above the wave 1 high and also above the 20 day MA for us to say that we have the impulsiveness that we need in the formation of that wave 3 and sketching out a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of this wave 3 by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the FIBs to the low of the second wave that gives me a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of that wave 3 at the FIB level 1.618 and that is at around the 0.07345 dollar mark and that is the minimum that I'm expecting that wave 3 to the upside to do and here on the charts you can also see that we have this channel that we have been trading within which has given us a break to the upper side and that is after finding the support of the 20 day MA and there are chances that after seeing the breakout whatever we are seeing at the moment could be a retest of the upper side of the channel and in case the retest is in and a success then there are chances of continuing to push even higher to fully maximize our target areas to the upside in the formation of that wave 3 so this channel could be supporting the formation of this wave 3 but on the other case we also need to be prepared for the worst case scenario in case the retest over here is not a success and we get back into the channel lose the 20 day MA continue pushing to the lower side of the channel and in case we see a breakout out of the channel to the lower side then there are chances of seeing a retest of that lower side of the channel before we continue unlocking even lower prices and in case such a move plays out then a different LU12 count will be playing out over here where I'll be terming the high that we made at around the 0.0632 dollar mark as the high for that first wave and in case this move plays out and we see a breakout out of the channel to the lower side and continue pushing even lower then I'll be terming that move to the lower side as that move to the lower side in the formation of this wave 2 and sketching out a minimum target area to the lower side in the formation of that wave 2 that can play out on the worst case scenario by connecting the Fibonacci's from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 
that gives me a minimum retracement area in the formation of that wave 2 between the FIB level 0 0.5 and the FIB level 0 0.618 and that lies between the 0 0.03944 dollar mark and the 0 0.03377 dollar mark and that is the minimum that we can expect Gala Games to do on the worst case scenario. In case Gala Games continues to push even lower, lose the 20 day MA and see a breakout out of the channel to the lower side. So that is what we can expect on the worst case scenario. But we can still say that uh, there are chances, we still have the chances of having made the high for that first wave, also seeing the low for this wave too. And then whatever we are seeing over here could be the bounce to the upside in the formation of that wave 3. And also taking a look at the indicators before I give you the long term scenarios that I'm expecting to play out. Uh, here on the RSI we are trading at around the 54 mark meaning we have massive room for us to support further movements to the upper side in the formation of that wave 3 and also any movements to the lower side. Also taking a look at the MACD we have been able to print a bullish cross fully supporting higher prices in the formation of that wave 3 and jumping to the daily chart for further analysis and also give you the long term scenarios that I'm expecting to play out basing it on the edit of structures. You can see that uh, Gala Games from these low prices that we had been trading within we saw a very nice bounce to the upside making it one all time high at around the 0.84 dollar mark in what I'm terming as that first wave to the upside and after seeing the all time high we started the bear market where we had been seeing lower prices in this ABC corrective structure in what I'm terming is the formation of that second wave to the lower side and after seeing the low for that second wave whatever we expect next is a bounce to the upside in the formation of a larger ADO 12 con 3 and that is what I'm expecting on the long term scenarios having the minimum target area in the formation of that wave 3 at the FIB level 1.618 and that is at around the 1.36017 dollar mark and that is the minimum that I'm expecting Gala Games to do on the long term scenarios and also on the short term scenarios and let's be patient and see how that plays out and I'll be keeping you updated.